I seriously don't understand why this car gets so much heat. I get comments all the time about how slow this car is and how sucky this car is. I mean, come on now. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting quite old, to be honest with you. A lot of it I let roll off because I know it's not true. This is one of the fastest Mustangs you can buy right now. How can you hate this so much? What's wrong with 2.3 liters? Come on now. 2.3 liters is good with a turbo, which this has. It means it's faster than a Mustang GT. So if you bought a Mustang GT, you're wasting money on more engine that you don't need. I mean, think about it, 2.3. What's 2.3 times two? 4.6. The 4.6 liter V8 is one of Ford's best engines. In fact, one of the best 4.6 liters was found in the Terminator Cobra. That's right, the legendary Terminator Cobra. The granddaddy of smack your mama Mustangs that will put the absolute gap on your Camaro. Everybody was afraid of the Terminator Mustang Cobra and I'd be afraid of a killer robotic horse snake too. But that's what you got here, Terminator Cobra at half off. So don't go telling me why this car is slow. This car is not slow. This car might as well be the mascot for Gap Clothing because that's what it's gonna do to everyone. Sticky performance tires bigger than factory, no good, still roast them. You know your Mustang's got power when it's got dual exhaust. Any fast Mustang's got dual exhaust. This engine right here will absolutely make a fool of your GT500. Come at me, bro. I guarantee you there ain't no car faster on the market than this. One, two in the way and I'm nine seconds on the quarter mile. You could take your GT back to the dealership. Y'all gotta really stop hating on my car. Y'all just jealous because you bought a more expensive car and the slower one. While I saved money and got the faster one because I'm not stupid. And don't you dare thumbs down this video because you know I'm right. And don't you dare leave me a comment telling me how wrong or how stupid I am because I'm just gonna ignore it. There ain't no way anyone's gonna convince me otherwise. This this is the fastest Mustang you can buy right now. I troll Hellcats and Corvettes all the time in this thing. They don't even know what's coming. Their first mistake was thinking that EcoBoost wasn't going to be fast. And then I let the discount 4.6 wreak absolute havoc on their life. But it's okay. Y'all keep saying it's slow and I'm just going to keep proving to you it's not. At the end of the day, some of us are going to win and some of us are just going to eh, lose. Sorry to say that if you're racing this car, you're going to be the one losing that day. Not going to be a good day for you. I mean, if you made it this far into the video, I'm just sorry to tell you that you bought the wrong car. But if you happen to buy this car, then you did pretty good because you know what's up. But if you didn't buy this car, then you're just a complete moron and a tool because you just had to have a V8. Let me tell you something. All the fastest cars have turbo. And don't be like, well, I put a twin turbo kit on my V8. Well, congratulations. You want a cookie? This car's still going to be faster because it is lighter. Power to weight ratio, baby. That wins races. That's how you engineer a car, not by putting more power to it. Why is a Porsche 911 faster than a Hellcat with only half the horsepower? Because it's power to weight, baby. You could have 1500 horsepower, but if you're moving three tons, good freaking luck. I could take care of that three tons with a third of the horsepower in this bad boy right here because it don't weigh no three tons. This thing is super lightweight. One of the lightest weight Mustangs you can buy right now. This is called optimal performance. And this is optimal engineering from Ford. Right here is an excellent piece of machinery absolute pinnacle of performance and if you think you can beat this car you are wrong buddy so just keep hating on this car keep leaving those comments because at the end of the day i'm gonna sleep just fine knowing that everybody is wrong